If you wanted to make a video about snow plows and the people who drive them, where would you go? When Mack Trucks decided to film an episode of Road Life 2.0 about snowplow drivers, the film crew headed to the one spot in North America with the highest annual average snowfall, Thompson Pass near Valdez, Alaska. Equipment Editor Jim Park with you once again. I'm coming to you from Valdez, Alaska, about 30 miles east of the Thompson Pass on the Richardson Highway. Mac came to Thompson Pass to shoot the video because, on average, the place sees about 500 inches of snow per year. It sits in a valley at 2,700 feet above sea level. Valdez, about 30 miles to the east and sitting at 30 feet above sea level, sees a paltry 300 inches of snow each year on average. The record snowfall for Thompson Pass in a single winter was set in 1952-53 when the area got 974.1 inches, that's 81 feet of snow. The pass also holds the Alaska record for the most snow in a single day, 62 inches fell on December 29, 1955. Where better to shoot a video about snowplows? When the crew arrived in Valdez on the 25th of February, the area had seen just 13 inches of snow since Christmas, and the average temperature that month was 31 degrees, Fahrenheit that is. Average snowfall on the area in January and February is about 65 inches. We had bright sunny skies, mild temperatures, and no snow in the three days we were there. So much for long-range planning. Interestingly, the weather in Valdez is quite different from what we get at the DOT camp at Thompson Pass. The morning we decided to shoot the truck at sunrise, it was minus 5 to minus 10 degrees and sunny with winds gusting to 40 miles per hour and higher. Standing there at the side of the road in the open wind was bone-chillingly cold and it was even worse in the shade of the mountains. Mac eventually had to send a crew back to Valdez a couple of weeks afterward to get the shots they really wanted of a plow in real action. But we made the best of it while we were there, pulling down snowbanks and such, but it's just not quite the same as a real storm. So let's have a closer look at the snow clearing machine. It's a 2019 Mack Granite with a new interior layout. It's powered by an MP8 Maxidyne engine making 505 horsepower and 1,700 pound-feet of torque. All that power gets to the wheels through an Allison RDS 4500 six-speed torque converter automatic transmission. The rear axles are a pair of 26,000 pound double reduction Mack axles sitting on a Hendrickson HMX 460 suspension. The front axle is a 23,000 pound Mack axle with Mack leaf suspension. It's rated for 110,000 pounds gross combination weight, but as you see it sitting here fully loaded with 8 cubic yards of sand and 400 gallons of brine for the anti-icing, it weighs just a bit more than 70,000 pounds. It's an all-wheel drive truck of course, and it sits on a pair of Bridgestone 854 steer tires and 8 Bridgestone L320 drive tires. The road clearing equipment consists of a Henderson Task Force model body-mounted spreader with 400 gallons of liquid anti-icing capacity. The Thompson Pass DOT crew uses mostly brine rather than magnesium chloride. Superintendent Robert Dunning says the mag chloride costs about 5 bucks a gallon, but they can make their own brine right there for about 18 cents a gallon. They also use a little desugared beet juice called Boost to lower the freezing point of the water and to make it stick to the roads better. The trucks have wing plows and belly blades to scrape the ice off the road, and out front is a Monroe MP312 one-way plow. It's one of the biggest plows you can get for on-road work, and it's pretty heavy. In fact, it's got its own set of bogey wheels that carries about 60% of the weight of the plow. On top of the plow blade, and it's a little hard to see here in the picture, is a big plastic airfoil that wraps over the top of the blade. Dunning says it scoops the air from in front of the plow and directs the air downward behind the plow to help improve visibility for the driver. It prevents a lot of that snow from blowing back onto the windshield of the truck. There's another really cool feature on this truck, high precision differential GPS. There's a screen in the cab that shows the driver the exact position within the lane that they're plowing with accuracy of about an inch. Here's Mark Hansen, the Thompson Pass station foreman to explain how it works probably within a few meters of where you're at on the road. Well, that's not good enough. No. You know, we need to know better where we're at besides a few meters away. So the way you overcome that is you have a known position 
up on our divine site, we've got another satellite receiver antenna and, and another Trimble unit that's fixing a position for where, where that uh, antenna is. Well, that antenna's not moving. It's in a fixed position. We know exactly where that is. So as this incorrect or imperfect data comes down for a position fix, you got this antenna here in a known position. The satellite information comes in and it says your position's here. It says, no, I'm not, I'm here. Or, you're, or it says now, you know, several times a second. Now it's saying you're here. No, I'm not, I'm here. Well, that correction is exactly the same correction in real time that's happening with this truck. Okay. It's, it's the same error at the same time here as it is up there. So you can take that corrected position, they, the computers up there calculate the correction and send it down to this computer through VHF radio signal, a data burst. I think it's two or three times a second you get this data burst coming down. Mm -hmm. So now you've got a corrected position. So now we're within a few centimeters of where we're supposed to be on the road. That's amazing. Yeah. What do those dots represent? Avalanche area. It means that there's we're in an avalanche area right here. Okay. The, you're talking about the stripes? Yeah. Right down the side? Yeah. 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 Yeah, that, they added that in when they did the upgrade. Just kind of give the operator just that, you know, keep it rolling in your brain that, you know, if you're, if you kind of forget, you are in an avalanche zone right here. There are two of these Mac Granite snowplows stationed at Thompson Pass. The operators say they just love the big power. And as you might imagine, a 70,000 pound truck climbing a seven mile, 7% grade, pushing a couple of feet of snow in front of it, needs all the power and torque it can get. In the other video in this series, you'll meet a few of the Thompson Pass snow removal crew members. We'll also meet some of the Mac film crew that was making the Road Life 2.0 video, and that video is now live on YouTube, or you can find it at mactrucks.com slash roadlife. In Valdez, Alaska, I'm equipment editor Jim Park.